Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a very fun, festive, sparkly makeup look to ring in the new year. This look is definitely going to catch anyone's eye no matter where you are at for New Year's Eve. So if you are ready to learn how to achieve this fun, festive, sparkly New Year's Eve makeup look, keep on watching and we'll get to blending. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Light Neutral and I'm going to put a small amount on my eyelids and blend it out with my finger. The concealer is going to act as our eyelid primer, so it's going to cover up any veininess, any uneven skin tone on the eyelid, and it's also going to help keep our eyeliner on throughout the day. And after that, I'm going to go in with a neutral skin toned eyeshadow and I'm going to set my entire eyelid with it. We're going to hop right into eyeliner, so I'm taking my Absolute New York Double Trouble Eyeliner. And taking the skinny side of the eyeliner, I'm going to begin by lining the outer portion of my lash line. And then going in to map out the wing of my eyeliner. And I'm just going to bring it back down and connect it back down to the lash line. I tried to go for a smaller wing just because I have hooded eyes, so I didn't want the eyeliner to completely drown my eyes out since they're small anyways, so I went in with a very small wing today. At least I tried to, if a small wing is really even a thing. Dipping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, I'm taking Noir and with an e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm going to smudge out the eyeliner just to give it a smoky look. And the eyeliner did dry and it had a shiny finish to it, so I wanted the eyeliner to be matte. Next, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Liquid Eyeliner. It's in a silver glittery shade. I'm using an Sigma E05 eyeliner brush to apply this along the top of the eyeliner. To add a little bit more sparkle, I'm taking the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Crystal, and I'm popping this right on top where we applied the glitter eyeliner. And the glitter eyeliner is going to act as a primer for this loose glitter we are using. Just make sure that you apply the loose glitter while the glitter eyeliner that we applied is still wet, so it has something to stick to. And I'm going back to touch up the eyeliner um, just because I got a little crazy with the glitter so I wanted to make it real clean so I went back and added some eyeliner. To add a little something something to the eyes, I'm going in with the Ardell Foaming Glashes in the style 817. These are perfect, they finished off the look beautifully but they didn't overpower and drown up. Moving over to the face, I'm going to prime and moisturize using my Bobbi Brown Vitamin C Enriched Face Base. This product is awesome. It primes your face for foundation, blurs out your pores, and also moisturizes. And the foundation I will be using today is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And I'm using the shade L40. This foundation is awesome. Not only is it just $9.99, but it provides full coverage and it gives a beautiful matte finish without sucking all the life out of your skin. And since I have dry skin, usually you would think, why would you use a matte foundation? But this one is perfect. It's not too matte. It's just really good and it makes your skin look beautiful. Next, I'm going to go into concealer. I'm using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Marshmallow. I'm applying that underneath the eyes to brighten and cover up my under eye circles. And then I'll also be applying it on the chin, the cupid's bow, and the bridge of the nose to highlight the center of the face. This is a concealer I've been using a lot lately and I really like it. I would compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape. It is a little bit thicker than the Tarte Concealer but it has amazing coverage and lasts all day long. After that is all blended out, I'm going to go in and bronze. I'm using my Chanel Soleil Bronzer and an F40 Large Angled Contour Brush from Sigma. So I'm gently sweeping that along the cheekbones to give my face dimension. And I will also be taking it along the jawline just to give my face some dimension, a little bit more structure. And I'll also be taking it around the perimeter of the face. Moving back to the eyes, I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in Zero and I'll be, able, be applying this very lightly on the lower lash line. It 
And then I went into Noir from the Soft Glam palette with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I smoked out and blended out that eyeliner. Next, I'm going back into the Wet n Wet Wild Fantasy Makers eyeliner and I'm applying that on the lower inner lash line. So I'm applying that with the applicator and then I'm going back with the NYX Face and Body Glitter in Crystal on top just to add extra glitter because you can never have enough glitter. Am I right? Then I'm dusting away the powder I used to set my concealer. I did use the Cody Airspun Translucent Face Powder. Taking my F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush from Sigma and some MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to mist the brush with this setting spray, and then I'm going in with the Maybelline and Nikki Tutorials Collaboration Highlighter. I love this highlighter so very much. It's definitely one of the best drugstore highlighters out there. It has so much pigment and definitely packs a punch. And then I took it and applied it on the center of the face, like the cupid's bow, the bridge of the nose, and the inner corners, just to open up the eyes and brighten up the face. And to give my face some color and a little bit of life, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, using my Real Techniques Fluffy Blush Brush. I love me some Milani blushes. So we have two lip options, a neutral lip option, which is the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Bahama Beige. This is really pretty too, I really liked it, but I felt like I needed a red, you know? But of course, I'm a little extra, you may be more comfortable wearing a nude lip. But for the red lip, I went with the NYX Butter Lipstick in Big Cherry. Super pretty, super buttery, and it's just a really pretty red. And that, you guys, is going to complete my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you rock it, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see your recreation of this look. Make sure that you subscribe before you head out so you don't miss out on any of the future videos I post. You definitely don't want to miss out on those. You guys have a fantastic day and a great rest of your week. Jesus loves you so very much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!